friends how are you i hope you all are fit and fine so dear students as you all are aware that we are revising should bizarre bit money written by john dai from your supplementary reader which starts before moving ahead let us recall what we have read as of now so let me show you a ppt on your screen and uh, revise whatever we have read as of now and then the remaining part of the story so let's begin should wizard hit mummy written by john of dai so whatever we have read in the last uh, video lesson so let us once again revise and then we will go through the remaining chapter so in the last video lesson we read the introduction so here is a story about the world void of a little child and the difficult moral question she rises uh, she raises during the story session with her father the story revolves around jack who is a father to two kids john uh, johnny that is joe and bobby his wife claire is carrying their third child jack had a habit of telling his daughter jo a story every evening and on saturday afternoon naps this time when he was telling her a story so this time when he was telling her a story she interrupts him and asks him questions whenever she feels that things that are being told are not right so jack now finds himself in a fix and doesn't know how to resolve joe's questions parents feel that children should do or think exactly what they are told they should believe on what they are told by their parents but is this the right attitude this moral question is raised by the story and left for the reader to decide what should be done about the author john moya abdaik march 1832 he was born on march 18 1932 and passed away on 27th january 2009 he was an american novelist poet short story writer art critic and literary critic one of the only three writers to win the pulitzer prize for fiction more than once abdai published more than 20 novels more than a dozen short story collections as well as poetry art and literary criticism and children's book during his career every evening and on saturday afternoon naps jack used to tell his daughter a bedtime story this habit started when joe was 2 years old and now that joe was 4 years old 
Jack did not have any creative ideas for stories. Most of the stories that he used to tell Joe revolved around the same plot concerning an animal named Roser. In every story, Roser used to be a different animal with some kind of a problem. Then Roser would go to this voice owl to take help, who would in turn tell him to go to the wizard. Then Roser would take his problem to the wizard who would help him in exchange for some pennies, mostly a bit more than what Roser had with him. After helping him, the wizard would ask him to go to a certain place to fetch some more pennies and Roser would do exactly like that. Then, after paying uh, the wizard, Roser would go back and all the other animals would start playing with him. He would be very happy and later he would return home just in time to wait for his father who would be returning from Boston by train. Jack had now started getting tired of this, uh, of this daily routine because he had run out of ideas for the stories. And also Joe didn't sleep listening to the story anymore. He had started feeling that the practice was just a waste of time and there was no point doing it. He was noticed that, uh, he also noticed that Joe had started growing big and that her legs now stretched halfway down the bed when snuggled when snuggled in for her story. With all the light coming in from the window over her face that was deep in the pillow, Jack knew that she won't be sleeping soon. Bobby, her baby brother, who was two years old, was already sleeping with his bottle in his mouth. When Jack asked Joe that who should the story be about that day, she thought for a while and replied that she wanted it to be of a skunk. Jack then thought that she must have heard about this animal in nursery school and also got enthusiastic as he had a new hero for his story. Then Jack started the story. The story started with the Rosa skunk living in the forest. Jack said that Rosa smelled bad. None of the other animals in the forest liked to play with him. All the other animals would start running away whenever he would go out to play. At this moment, Jack was recollecting about certain humiliations that he had faced during his childhood for being foul smelling. Then Joe asked whether Roser would see the voice owl. Jack was sitting beside her and noticed that Joe was getting anxious 
with the story and felt pleased with it. He did not want to hurry and wanted to make the story more intense as he wanted to convey a message through it. Suddenly, Jack heard a voice downstairs of the chair being pulled and realized that he must go down to help his wife paint the living room but had to continue with the story as Joe had not slept yet. So Jack continued that Roger Skunk was sad and as he walked he came across a tree where he saw a voice owl. The skunk then shared his problem with the voice owl and the owl started thinking of how he could help the little skunk. Then Joe shouted enthusiastically that the voice owl would ask him to go to the wizard as he had known about the basic plot of the stories her dad used to tell her. Jay got a bit irritated and scolded her and asked her if she wanted to tell the story by herself. Joe denied and Jack asked her to lie down peacefully and continued listening to the story. Joe told Jack to tell the story out of his head. Then Jack continued uh, with story that the owl told Roser to go to see the wizard for his problem. Then Joe interrupted him and asked if the magic spells that the wizard used were real. When Joe asked this question, Jack realized that Joe was coming into the reality phase and had started asking questions about the things her parents used to tell her. He noticed that she no longer believed her parents blindly and was curious about everything that was told to her. Jo repeated her question while she was relating uh, the, uh, what was happening in the story with the real. He continued with his story, uh, Jack continued with his story that the skunk went through the way the voice owl had asked him to go and reached a white house and knocked on the door. To make the sound effect of how the skunk knocked the door, Jack knocked on the window sill and Joe was thrilled. Jack continued that old man with long white beard and a blue pointed hat came out. Then Jack made his favorite sound effect and continued that the wizard asked Roser what he wanted and that he had a very bad body order. Then to this Rosa replied that he knew that he smelled bad and told him that all the other animals ran away from him. He also told the wizard that the wise owl had told him that he could help him. So uh, this is what we read in the last video. Now let's see what happened next in the story.
Then the old man replied that maybe he could not ask Roger Skunk to follow him inside not to get too close. Then Jack describes how the house of the wizard was really dirty from inside because he did not have a cleaning lady to which Joe asked why it was so. He then replied that because he was a very old man and also a wizard so he did not require any cleaning lady. Then Joe again interrupted and asked if the wizard should die to which again uh, Jack replied that wizards never die. Then the wizard started looking out for something and took out an old stick called the magic wand. He asked Roser what he wanted to smell like and he replied that he wished to smell like roses. Joe was happy at, about the fact that he wanted to smell like a rose. Then Jack said the magical words in the voice of a wizard. Then he relates the face that his daughter made to that of his wife. She made such a face when she pretended to be enjoying a cocktail party. Then he continues that the whole house of the wizard was filled with the fragrance of roses. By mistake, he changed the animal to fish. Joe corrected him and he said that it was really silly on his part to call him a fish in place of a skunk. Just then, Jack got a bit annoyed and Joe's expression and suddenly just uh, just then Jack got a bit annoyed with Joe's expression and suddenly he heard some furniture rumbling downstairs. He realized that Claire shouldn't be moving heavy things as she was six months pregnant and they were going to have their third baby. Then the wizard tells Roger to go to end of the lane and turn around three times and when he would look in the magic well, he would find three more pennies. Then Roger did exactly what he was told and got the extra pennies. He then gave the pennies to the wizard and ran back to the woods where everybody gathered around, the, around him because he smelled so good. Then they all played a lot of games and enjoyed themselves. As it was getting dark, all the animals ran back to their mummies. Joe had started getting bored with the story and was more interested in looking out of the window. She thought that the story was over. On the other hand, Jack did not like women who would take things for granted. He liked women who remained engrossed in his talks. Then he again continued the story asking Joe to be a little attentive to what he said. Then mummy's skunk asked from where that was awful smell coming from, to which Roger replied that it was him. He added that he smelt like roses. 
Mummy skunk asked Roger that who had made him smell like that to which he replied that the wizard had done so The mummy skunk got angry and ordered Roger to accompany her to the wizard Roger told his mom that all his friends ran away from him if he smelled bad to which his mom replied that she didn't care and that he smelled just the way a baby skunk should smell his mom took out her umbrella and they went to the wizard's house where uh, when the wizard opened the door and the mummy skunk hit him on his head then jo started imagining her own story how the wizard would say uh, how the wizard would have hit the mummy skunk back and never changed the roger skunk her father told her that nothing of that sort of happened and the wizard changed roger skunk back to normal and it did not smell of roses anymore another question was about to pop up little joe's mind but jack stopped her and told her that it was his story and if she wanted him to tell her any more stories then she should keep quiet jo kept on looking at her father with great surprise as she waited for the story to be continued after some time when roger skunk and his mum were going back home they heard a woo woo sound as his father arrived back from boston then all of them had lima beans calavi liver which you can see in the picture below and mashed potatoes for dinner and uh, pie oh my for dessert later that night when roger skunk was sleeping mom skunk came back she hugged him and told him that he smelled again like her baby skunk and that she loved him a lot with this jack ended the story to which jo again asked that did the other animals run away from roger skunk again jack replied no because they slowly got accustomed to the smell so they did not feel like running away anymore when jack said that eventually everybody started liking roger skunk jo did not understand the word eventually as she had heard it for the first time so she asked what even shelji to which jack told her the meaning but jo thought that what mummy skunk did was not right and said that what the mother skunk did was uh, stupid but jack took it personally and said no because somewhere he was relating to himself and defending his own mother then jack told jo that he wanted her to take a long deep nap and it just read the shades so that no light came in he then went very softly to the door and acted as if jo had slept but when she turned and locked 
uh, turned and looked she was staring at him and sitting on top of the covers then he told her to go to sleep as she was also disturbing her uh, brother who was sleeping then she stood up and started bouncing softly on the springs while jumping on the springs of the bed she asked her father to tell her a story the next day that the wizard took her magic stick and hit the mummy and chopped her plump arms then jack explained to her that this was not what the story said he told her that the story gave us a message that the skunk loved his mother more than any of the other animals in the woods and that his mother knew what was right for him and what was not then as he was explaining jo about the story she started insisting that the next day he would have to tell a story like the one she wanted then she did as had uh, done uh, many times earlier but this time when she was not laughing or joking she was being a bit stupid then jack told her to be patient and sleep and that he would see it to the next day he then asked her to stay on the bed and close the door he then went downstairs and saw his wife painting the walls she had opened a paint can spread the newspapers and was wearing an old shirt of this over her maternity dress she was painting the chair rail suddenly he began heard footsteps above and shouted that did john want a beating the sound of the footsteps starting started vanishing then jack's wife told him that it was a long story that he was telling joe and to that the, the, he replied the poor kid as he was feeling very tired he just sat on the uh, just sat and watched his wife to do all work then he started looking at the woodwork around him and started relating to his life he was looking at it and thinking that although both of them jack and claire were caught in a case like situation in their marriage there was no solution to it neither did she want he want to talk to her nor speak or touch her so this way dear students uh, the story finishes in the next class we will discuss uh, previous years questions from this lesson should wizard hit mummy and from chapter 5 hindi thank you for watching see you tomorrow